morning, Joel. Um, I've got a question for you today that has to do with identifying a challenge for our emerging leaders in online learning. I'm wondering if you can think of one or two that you might say um, someone who's stepping into the role of a leadership position would have to think about in, sure. in our institutions. Sure. Uh, well, I'm Joel Hartman, and I'm Vice Provost and CIO at the University of Central Florida in Orlando, Florida. And among my responsibilities at the university is online learning in its various forms. So, so the, it's an interesting question of what the next generation of leaders will confront as, as a major challenge. Uh, and I, I would kind of reflect on it this way. If you think about the last, we're, we're recording this in uh, like November of 2011. So if you think back of the last 15 to 17 years, which encompasses almost the entire window of the development of online learning as we know it today, I think our primary struggle to date has been one of establishing what effective practice is, mm -hmm. getting established and getting credibility within our institutions, developing appropriate mechanisms for program planning, faculty development, course development, compensation, all those policy issues and so on, to give online learning a foothold. Right? And although practice is uneven across the country here in the US, you find institutions where online learning has penetrated very deeply and institutions that simply refuse to get involved in it. So I think the next generation of leaders is going to confront the issue of now that online learning has been established as to what it is or might be, how to take it into the mainstream of U.S. higher education. Mm -hmm. And then the second order issues to confront are those ultimately of student success and quality and fiscal viability and how it factors into tenure promotion. Um, but I think online learning is and has the potential to become a truly strategic force in U.S. higher education. I'll give you a case in point. We sometimes talk about a thing called the Iron Triangle, quality, access, and cost. And the traditional assumption is that you could influence one of those three, maybe two of the three, but certainly to the detriment of whatever the third one is, right? Quality and cost come at, uh, come, you know, are difficult to achieve simultaneously. I think it can be demonstrated that online learning has the potential to address all three dimensions mm -hmm. positively. And as U.S. institutions begin, begin to grapple with that, I think we'll begin to find the tools available for online learning truly give us access, for sure, the ability to approach quality issues within the teaching learning practice and giving the students more flexible options, and certainly the financial dimensions um, Although money isn't a good reason to get into online learning, mm -hmm. successful programs at scale certainly achieve, uh, by and large, fiscal viability. So I think the next generation of online learner, online learning administrators is the generation that's going to take what we, to date, have developed and mainstream it throughout U.S. higher education as something that simply is established as one of the ways we do business. So I hear you suggesting maybe the first 10, 15 years was about acceptance, establishing about, a, a well, affordable... Well, discovery. Yeah. Um, and in fact, uh, we've, go we've gone through several phases in our own 17-year journey. The first was, was, how do you do it? Yeah. The second is, how do you do it well and, and sustain practice? Uh, then it was to mainstream it within the institution, right. and now it's become a matter of the scholarship of teaching and learning. Yeah. Very good. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.